Hey guys, this is Commander Video here. Welcome back to another video. And today we're doing Jar versus Dan. So let's get into it. So Jar's racist. He's unreasonable. The guy's all right. He's all right, right? He's you know, his political company. He's like t he's ten, ten and uh, an authoritarian. He's he's authoritarian all rider, dude. He's gonna win the Deep South Ez because he's all right. He's a Nazi. He's racist. He's unreasonable. You know, he's unreasonable. But you know Dan's gonna win Oklahoma because he's got he's got the he's got he's a Cherokee he claims to be a Cherokee you know so he's gonna win he's gonna win Oklahoma you know Elizabeth Warren's from there you know Andrew Jackson deported her family to Oklahoma in the 1820s but it's reasonable you know it's reasonable that oh, Dan wins Oklahoma and Dan also wins Texas because you know trends you know Beto's gonna be campaigning over the state he's gonna be stealing everyone's guns and then you know Beto's gonna be doing fiery rallies he's gonna be standing on tables he's gonna be shooting guns everywhere and he's gonna be so intense with Beto Beto 2020 bear for America it's reasonable uh, but you know he's, Dan's also gonna win New Mexico because you're never gonna go blue you, you, you the Republicans never do what with Latino voters are reasonable but you know, I th I think Jar pulls off Colorado because he's just gonna get all the, all those sick doctors in Colorado that you know like to cut off people's fingers. He's gonna get their vote, and it's, it's reasonable, you know. And they're high up for Jar, people like Jar, because he's high all the time. It's reasonable, you know. But Dan's gonna win, you know, pretty much the farm states. He's gonna win the farm states because it's reasonable. You know, Dan has to be he's a Bobby. Dan's a Bobby. He's reasonable. Dan's gonna win the second district and the first district, but Jar wins the third district. You know, the price is split, and this never happens. So, Dan wins California. It's its home state, and also he's got appeal. You know, you know, the, 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 you know, the hippie people in California could be like, "Oh, we love Dan, even though you voted for Trump." You know, some of them are gonna be pissed, and they're not gonna vote for Dan because he, you know, he supported Trump, so that's unreasonable. Whoops! Oops! And you know Nevada goes to goes to Jar because the farmers in the state they're, they're, they 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 love people like Jar. It's reasonable. And Arizona, of course, Arizona's never gonna go red according to according to um, Discord Trump. So it's reasonable. So Oregon and Washington both go to Dan because Antifa. You know Antifa's too big in Oregon and Washington because Lyndon's gonna come out for Dan. So it's reasonable. Jar wins North Carolina. It's his home state, and you know he has a really decent health care plan. It's reasonable. Baxter approves. He's gonna do naked rallies everywhere. Florida goes to Jar. You know it's very racist it's in the South, so it's obviously a racist state. So it's probably gonna go to Jar. And Virginia goes to Jar too. It's reasonable. Virginia, he's establishment. He, he doesn't like Trump too much because he's he's like he's like Gary Johnson twenty twenty, and it's reasonable. West Virginia, Dan's a populist, so of course he's going to win West Virginia. You know, he's gonna, Dan's going to win Michigan. No, he's not going to win Minnesota, because right-wing radical is going to endorse Jar. And then he's going to do. He's going to be doing rallies everywhere. He's going to be doing these fiery rallies with Bluff, and you know, Minnesota's going to go red. It's reasonable. Wisconsin goes blue. It's reasonable. And the orangutans in Illinois are going to come out for Jar, so it's reasonable. And plus, Jar's going to do a lot better with the black vote because he's got black appeal, so it's reasonable. Ohio is going to go to Dan because Dylan Wiley's racist and it's unreasonable. He's going to be doing fiery rallies in Sandusky County and he's going to be saying the N word all the time. It's going to be so reasonable. Um. You you know I think Dan's gonna win Maryland because uh, LTEs uh, because LTEs gays get really gonna be do, coming out for Dan because you know Biden twenty twenty it's reasonable because you know LTE supports Biden right you know but Delaware of course Finnegan's endorsement Jar wins Delaware even even though Finnegan goes to the Michigan State University um, New Jersey. New Jersey goes red too. Delta's gonna be doing. He, no, Delta does not like Dan, so he's gonna be doing fire rallies for Jar. It's reasonable. Connecticut also goes red, and Dan wins Rhode Island because of Black Eagles endorsement, and also he's he's gonna get the he's gonna get the fat people's endorsement. So it's reasonable. Now 
Dan's going to lose Vermont because, you know, the Bernie bros there are not going to come out. They're going to be pissed at him because he supported Trump. So he supported Bloom. It's unreasonable. Orange man bad impeachment story. It's orange man bad. Orange man done. It's unreasonable. So New Hampshire also goes to Jar. And now here are the two states that are going to decide the election. Now, I think Jar is going to win Pennsylvania because you know, Mike's endorsement. And Pat Toomey is moderate. He's reasonable. And Pat Toomey and Mike are going to be doing fiery rallies in Philadelphia. And, you know, Jar has black appeal because he lives in North Carolina because he's reasonable. And Kevin, I don't know who Kevin would endorse, but I'll just give Dan the state. So that finishes off our map. Jar wins 277 and, well, I forgot why. Wait. Hawaii goes to Jar because he has Asian appeal because it's reasonable. So it's 281 to 257. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. And make sure you leave a request in the comment section below because I'm running out of ideas. Please leave a request. Goodbye.